Alright, this one's going to be on CowerDoc 3.0. It just came out like yesterday. And if you ever used this dock before, it's basically a dock with a lot of effects that you can apply to it. And it's very smooth too, right? Um, you can actually use it without effects, but I wouldn't really recommend that. You know, the, the joy of using this dock is with the effects and everything. So that being said, um, you do need to have like, you know, a decent computer to handle the effects, right? Um, what else is there? So they do have this own their own custom sessions. So if you log out and next to your name or whatever, they have this own uh, the session called like with Unity without effects and this one with GNOME. The one with GNOME is you can use it you know without the GNOME shells and everything. It's just the dock by itself, right? But right now I'm on the XFC and and you know this is how it looks like right here. So um, some stuff you can do in here. Right click on here, you have the car dock and then you go configurations here. And here are the themes. Well, I download some of them. The one that I download is the stars one, and the one that you know you can download yourself is that little earth. Basically, you need to be connected to the internet to download this, and it's not really that big, it's like one or two megs at, at most, right? Uh, I do like the fact they have you know the picture of it, so you can just download it. Um, Based on what you see, you like it, and you just you know apply it, and it will just uh, download it and then change it for you. So right now this is the default uh, single. Um, this other one looks nice too. They have like a little panel up top. So let me apply it here. All right. So you see that they have this little panel. The panel up top here is kind of like a their own dock, uh, you know. But you know, you have your menu. You have um, what is this here? Uh, your shortcuts, and this one is your quick browser, I think that's called. And over here is your uh, notification area, and down here is your dock, right? And pretty much that's what they have. Uh, other stuff you have in here is the recent uh, events this one is using um, Zeitgeist so if you don't know what Zeitgeist is it's basically your recent documents on steroids so anything you've opened it's gonna be logged right and they do have like different categories so you can filter between you know documents or whatever it is uh, so that's it for your recent documents this other one it says drop to share basically this one I haven't actually tried it but I'm guessing whatever you drag and drop into there like if you drag uh, maybe an image or something like that um, you know you, you upload it to where is that if you upload or if you want to upload an image it will just go to different place like image bin image shack whatever it is if you drag in a text file, you just go to paste bin and some other sites here. Same for video, and this one is for files uh, like Dropbox or Ubuntu One. Otherwise, you can actually use your own script if you can write one. All right, that's all they got for that part. Um, let's go back to what is that? Configurations. Uh, as far as the add-ons, you know they have a lot, so I don't want to talk about all of them. But let's talk about just one, like the stack one here. Uh, is very common, so let's enable that, right? Basically, this one, if you never used stack before, uh, let me give you an example. Let me open you know, maybe yeah, not here, not this one. Let's open documents or something. So let's say if you want to add some files that you access a lot. <clears throat> like let's say for example you want um, you know this HTML file or whatever. Alright, so now it'll be here. If you keep adding more, let's say this one. I'll add it and let's see what else do we have here? Some blackboard scrap. And you can see that, you know, the more you add, it'll just be uh, stacked it like this. And you can access it and you can open it if you want. Um, like I say, this thing, it'll just open that. And what else?
else is they can do. If you want to change the effects on this, I think it's somewhere here. Let me see here. Let's go back to this here. So let's double click on the stack and then you can see the configurations for that. So in the configurations here, um, but well, the one that we were using is called parabolic, right? They give you a little picture of it here. Uh, if you want to change it to something else, what else do they have here? No, not this one. Like maybe this rainbow one. So you click on this. Now it's a rainbow style. So they should call that alluvial fan, not the rainbow, but you know, you can do that if you like. Although the pair buck one is the common one that you would want to use with this uh, stack applet here. Anyways, that's it for that. And there's other ones in here, which is too many to explain. So try it out yourself, right? Next part here is the shortcuts. Basically, that's what it sounds like. You know, you have shortcuts. Let's say, for example, this menu uh, here. You can press Control F1. And you have the menu, and you can go up and down your arrows, all right? And they do have some other ones. Let's say, for example, you want to change some of them. Just double click on it, and then press the high key that you want. We'll say, uh, I don't know, Control N or something. Now it's Control N. So if I push Control N, it'll just open up my sound controls here, all right? That's it for that, though. On uh, appearance. So you can use different icon set, um, you know, either the ones that you have installed or uh, other ones like AWN if you have that. But yeah, that's the icon set. You can make it big, make it very big so you guys can see what is down here, all right? And what else is here? This one, right, right now is we're on the 3D plane, but if you want to change it to curve. It'll just be curvy right here, right? Or if you want to make like a little rectangular thing, do the default one. And you can see that the little black thing behind it is a rectangular kind of thing. Uh, so that's that. But I like it curve uh, usually. So we'll apply that. Down here, it's. Oh, yeah, this one is like your default. Like, let's say this one. This one is called the slide, right? You know, this little box around this here, slide. But you can change it to, you know, a different thing if you wanted to. Uh, it's the same thing with the stack thing, but this one is uh, applied to uh, any sub docs, right? So that's it for that. We we'll just go back to, I think it's called slide or something, right? There you go. And the behaviors here, this is where if you want to position your dock to a different place so you can go left if you want what is that right and then bottom well mess it up bottom or top doesn't matter right anyways that's what you can do in there and this other one it's for well they usually call it Intelli High or Dodge but now they made up a new name for it it's not long but basically what this means is that if uh, your Windows is hitting your dock, it will just hide it. Right? Same thing with the one up top here. It will just hide that one. And they have some other options, like you want it always on top. <clears throat> and see now that you put it always on top, it's not gonna you know disappear or anything. So if you want it like that, you can do that. Uh, what else is here? Uh, this is not really that important. Uh, this one is for your open, you know, applications. So if you highlight over this, just hover over this, they'll give you, you know, what it means. So you can read up on that if you want, and then change it to the one that you like. So that'll be it for that one. As far as the animations, um, by default they give you, you know, the pulse. Look at that, pew, 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 pew. All right? But they do have some other ones like blink. So if I go blink. There you go, that's what it does. And bounce. It's bouncy. And what else is it? Rotate? What does this one do? Oh, it's a freaking cube. Kind of overkill, but there you go. 
spotlight or is this no this one is called spot only what does it do it looks like a super saiyan powering up man that's what it looks like All right. and the wave what is this oh it looks like an hourglass kind of effect and the last one wobbly what does this one do that's way too busy okay we'll put nothing for that and over here is the effects I think these are using maybe compass effects so we'll apply that sucker and look at one is fire and this one is fireworks what does this do oh happy new year's woo <laughs> um what is this one next the rain yeah, look at rain and snow. Probably good for the holidays or winter. It's basically like this: the rain, but it's just white. Um, that's it for that. The stars. Look at this one. There's the stars. Storm. What does this do? Um. Oh, okay. It looks like a tornado or AK air bending. That's what they're doing. Uh, so that's it for the um, effects, but we'll go back to what it was, the pulse here. And you can do that for the hover. So hovering, you know, you don't click on anything. And there's one for clicking, if you, you know, different effects for that. And this other one for appearance and disappearance. Um, I don't know if I have a good example for that. But let's say I open this close it does it do that anything no this just fades out if I change this to black hole I think we can do that let me um open another one here let's say pictures look at that so you see that they do that uh, black hole aka um, the shotting gun alright so if I close it look at that the shotting gun disappears alright so let me open it again uh, pictures here. See the shotting gun. Shoo. Same thing when you close it. Shoo. There you go. Uchi and Madara. And what else do we have? I think that's it for the effects and everything. Um, yeah, that, that's that's pretty it. That's all you gotta do for you know the dock and everything. And I think some other ones that we want to talk about in here. No, I cover everything that we need to. Oh yeah, for for like uh, adding and removing uh, from the dock, you can actually just drag and, and drop it out of here, and it will just you know remove it. All this junk that that comes by default, you can just drag it out. When you drag out these um, add-ons, um, they don't remove it; they actually detach from it. So you see, it's detached, right? You can actually make your own dock from this if you like. Otherwise, if you want to reattach it, you can go, you know, right click on it and go return to dock. And there's that little shotting gun effect. Woo! So that's what you can do with that. And uh, like I said, I'm using Compiz right now, but on KDE, it should have like different effects. Uh, another thing is that, let's say you open, um, I don't know what we got here. We have one folder. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe pictures and maybe um, documents, right? So let's say you have three of the same thing. Let me put this up top here, though. Three of the same thing, right? And right here is my thunder. If you click on it, it will just open up with that slide animation. But if you click on it again, I mean double click on it, it will do the uh, scale effect, compiz, right? So that's how they handle. Um, different ones you can middle click to close it if you use your you know if you set your comp is to middle click to close you can do that otherwise if you middle click on here it'll close all of them and there you go you close it uh, if you want to add like a uh, what is it an application to here you can just drag and drop it out of here let's say for example what do we have um, uh, maybe yeah let's say we put GIMP or something right drag this sucker in here and there you go you have GIMP Whew. Uh, if, if you like open an application or something let's say 
we open the documents right you can actually right click on here too and then say I want to make a launcher out of this and then now it's a launcher right so if you close this you still have the launcher here and you open it up again uh, so that's pretty much how you would add and, and remove stuff from the dock here uh, so that's it for this one pretty cool dock that has reached 3.0 now and if you never heard of it before maybe try it out uh, it will actually maybe impress some newbies that you know likes the effects and everything uh, and it's nice to look at too so try it out if you saw what you like that'll be it for this one